So you can use anything. You can use magazines. And you're not going to necessarily look at the pictures. You're going to look for colors. So I like this beautiful green um, that I can use. So I'm going to cut out all the green. You can even cut out the writing because um, it makes a nice uh, texture. So you cut strips of writing if you want. If you cut skew, then you can use a ruler. You draw a straight lines so that you can cut straight. Um, you don't even have to cut straight if you don't want to. So you can use, you don't have to use a new page if you just want little pieces. So you take the cutaway pieces and then remember this is like your engine doing the cutting and this one is like your steering wheel doing the steering. So if I want to maybe make a, see this one's just cutting but this hand is moving the scissors where I want it to go, right? So you can even, if you want, you can draw a letter or write a letter on there if you want to cut out a specific shape. You can't see that. And then you can cut it out, right? You can even use like paper that you would normally throw away. This is like a, a filey thing, but then it's got a beautiful blue. So I can cut out this blue that I want to use in my picture. And you can cut out blocks, strips or blocks. I'll show you just now how you can use that. Right, there you've got some blocks. And you can take wrapping paper, maybe you've got a present, or you some probably have a box somewhere with wrapping paper. If you don't, you can start one. And again, you can now cut out little blocks, little strips, or draw the letters on them if you want, depending on how you want to do it. And there's some more wrapping paper and some color paper as well. So maybe you want to make a lot of, you can make draw lines and make lots of um, strips like these, right? And you can even use pictures in the magazines if you want. Maybe you want to say that you had lots of fun, so you can use this happy face. You can even get um, photographs of yourself if you have, and you can use photographs of yourself or your family. So now you've cut out your things, and now you're going to start playing around with it. See, I've written my word fun, and um, before you stick anything, first have it loose, so you can move it around. Maybe you feel like this is too big and you want to make it shorter. So then you can cut it smaller, shorter. And you can uh, change things. So it's like a puzzle of the game. You can decide maybe I want my face there. Um, maybe I want it there. Um, Remember, you want to be able to read it. So if it's not clear, you have to change it. It must look like a U. Maybe this needs to be more round. If you want to make something round, then instead of long pieces, you have short. You make shorter pieces because a shorter piece is easier to make into a curve. So you know, I can move them so that they can make it can be more round. You see that? So I will just cut all of these ones shorter. So that makes a nice curve. Mm -hmm. And you can now play around. Maybe you want to make a pattern. Like this one, it was upside down, but maybe you want to. That's actually a nice brown. So maybe every second one should be brown, because then it makes, oh, it's blue. It makes a nice pattern. So this is the fun part, where you can play around and try out different things. And sometimes, a mistake happens, like that one just fell upside down, and then I thought, ooh, I like the brown, and I thought, ooh, maybe I can make a pattern. So you're basically having fun now and playing with ideas. And you look at it. Do you like it? Don't you like it? Okay, I don't think the blue one works there, so I'll find the brown one, rather. So you playing around now. Maybe this is too boring. I want to decorate it a bit, so maybe I want to add something. So then I can use these little cutouts. 
Yeah, I cut out triangles. So maybe I want to <clears throat> add my, I can put it on top. I can put it next to it. Make it really thick over there. No, not going to have enough. So now I can, so don't throw away anything. You still, you can still use it. So all these little cutoffs, I'm making a new pattern now with that. See? So that's fun. This one. I'll just make another triangle. Oh, there's another one. And you can move things around until you decide where you want it. And if you're happy with it, then you can glue it down with your print. Um, just remember the size. Maybe if you don't want to do, if you want to do lots of words, then you're going to make them smaller to fit on your page. If you just want to do a few words, you can make them bigger. So remember, we're putting all, we're making them in separate pages because then they're easier to put onto the big page. Um, and then you can still move things around and decide where you want it. Okay, so now you can see I've um, gone with cookies and I've added more things. Like I've added little dots and bigger and smaller dots and stripes and that green I didn't want so much. I went over with blue to make it a bit softer. And you can see that I went around it with... Um, color cokey around the writing just to make it fun it looks like a necklace around her neck and I've stuck everything down and now if I want I could cut it out a bit smaller if I want less blue paper but this is now ready for me to use in my poster except I can still add pictures or patterns if I want but just be careful that you don't you want the letters to show so this one was too light so I had to add things and it's just fun to add things, <laughs> so you decorate it and have fun with it. So another fun thing you can do is you can bold letters with things that you cut out of magazines. So I started cutting out this like um, knife and baking stuff, and then I saw the two cupcakes, they could make a B. And um, then you can take something like a food picture and you can draw, so I drew with pencil, I don't know if you can see, but I like the edges. The color already looks like a K because it's got the straight line. And then I'm going to go into the corner, into the corner there. So I want to show that it still looks like a, a piece of bread. So I'm going to keep the outline because it looks cool. And I'm going to keep that dark line a little bit because it makes it stand out a bit more. Right. And now, I just want to make it the same round edge. See, so now I'm going to have a K that is made out of food. So you can make the whole word out of food if you want. Um, it's made out of food because I'm spelling the word bake. Okay, so my K is way too big, so that's important. Put them next to each other to see if it's too big or too small. It can be a bit bigger, but you can decide. The other option, I was going to cut my E out of this, and then I saw a letter in there. Can you see the letter? I saw an A. So now I'm going to rather take an oil pastel, and I'm going to, because this is a chocolate... Um, minty pie thing. So remember, cokies soak into the page. So you can do cokies on top of lighter colors. On a dark color, the cokie won't show, except if it's a dark color cokie, like a black or purple. Pencils is also too light, but an oil pastel sits on top, so that you can, if you want to draw on top of lots of writing, that's the best option. So I drew it first with pencil, so that I can know where to go. And then I can go, I want it to be seen, so I'm going to make it nice and dark. So I chose the K, I mean the brown, so that it can show. And I can even make this a bit longer. But you see that there is now my word, buck, on top of something baked. So the background is now the food, which is quite awesome. The other thing I did, I wanted an E, and I thought cupcakes were right around, 
but I needed it a bit bigger, so I even cut it higher. And then the red cherry is the inside, so I don't even have to cut it out because it's the inside. And then I just cut a little mouth and I folded it like that, so that now it looks like a muffin that wants to eat something. But it's an E as well. So do you see the E? If you can't see the E, or if this is too light, you can just color it in, or you can draw it bigger. So if you've stuck this down, you can always, um, like I say, if it's too small, or too, you can't see it, or anything, you can just draw over it. So there's my E. Make sure it's in line. And then if it is too small, I can always make it bigger. Make it rounder, maybe I want it rounder there, but then I must go over it. Maybe there's like this extra, gives a nice texture. So I can always do that. And if you want, yeah, so you can draw over it. If this is too busy, um, and you're losing the K, then I can just I'm gonna make a dark line. So a dark line always works well because then you can see the outline and you don't lose the things. So if you ever can't see something, add a dark line. Especially for something like writing. Ah, I need to stick that down better. See, now you can see it a, bit, a little bit better. Just make it a little less busy bake and I also went dark because this is already very busy I went with the black all around the edges so that the word stands out so this Afrikaans bak and bake in English I have this word but it's not so big so I can then cut it off and I can use that for my poster and then this I can use for something else I can even turn it around